love that Corey. Put it on the front page. Smitty, write 500 words on Chorus Girl Kills Man in Rage. Right, scram. Hello? Yeah. 20 dead, 80 injured, fire down at 7th Street. Get more dope and ring me back. Shake the lead from under your feet. Oh, Poppy yeah. Boy. Poppy Boy. Take an ad for Harvey's Basement, Fog and Sale, and Ladies' Dresses. I want this in the next edition. Okay, shoot this down in the press. Are you the society editor? Yes. My daughter will debut. Poppy Boy. Yes, miss. Take this down. Miss Van Ritz will debut. Thank you. Poppy Boy. Poppy Boy. Of it. Oh, I get sick of the silly questions they ask. Proof sheets, please. Here they are. Same as B. Yes? How can I tell if a girl really loves me? Would you get out of here? Gosh, I didn't mean anything. That's all I need. Now, let's see. Take this. Dear Bo Peep, so you wonder if you found real love at last. Little dear. I know just how you feel. <laughs> oh, hello, Jimmy. I'm the head of the love department. Is that polite? I'm a reporter, baby. All reporters sit on desks and keep their hats on. Yes, and then the boss comes in and they get fired. The only one around here that can fire me is you. Me? Sure. I've been fired with love ever since I first saw you. <laughs> Haven't you noticed it? <laughs> you mean that funny expression on your face? That's love. <laughs> Never would have recognized it. Well, you're supposed to know all about love, and you don't even know the real thing when you see it. Jimmy. If you're really in love, nothing can ever stand in your way. Is that an invitation, flirtation, or temptation? Dictation. Why don't you give all this up? Marry me. Marry you? On your salary? I only make $20 a week. Oh, I know it. But think how fast the weeks would fly by. I do love you. No kidding. Either. Hey, I've been yelling my head off for you. Come on. Yes, sir. He's awfully sweet. Oh, yes, I know. Where were we? Oh, yes. Dear Bo Peep. Oh, let's skip that. Here, take oh. this. Now let me see the mail today asking for advice. So many broken hearts who'd like to find their paradise. I'll help them in their tragic situation. So grab a pencil and take this dictation. And learn how to cook, and you will get your man. Unhappy Rose, now goodness knows, it's really very simple to get him to propose. Just snuggle up a night and turn up the light, and you will get your man. When he brings you flowers and candy, and takes you to the movie. It's easy to land him. A kiss for two, a hug, and you will walk him down the aisle. Dear Hope, please don't be at sea, because your man is five foot two and you're six foot three. Just be demure and shy, and sit there and sigh. But just be sure that you take care of Marcel Wave is in your hair, and you can bet that you will get your man. Oh, that's so romantic. Mm, romantic. Romance, romance. It's all I think about all day long while I lead such a humdrum life. Helen, we're going to take a trip. We're going out and find some of this romance that we've been writing so much about. Where's the most romantic spot that you can think of? The Riviera. Well, that's where we're going. We're going to take the first boat we can get. For the Riviera. Romance. I'm ready. And here it comes. Ah, celebrities. No, I've seen 
those two someplace before. I wonder where it was. <laughs> You know who they are? Yes. Amy Conzanola and Goopa Goopalonsky. The All Americans. The great flow and pass combination. Oh, I must get an autograph. Me too. Uh, but uh, what shall I write? Write something in English. Don't you want my autograph? Then what would I do with it? Don't you know who I am? I'm the famous forward pass receiver. Receiver? Uh -huh. Are they in bankruptcy? <laughs> you know all the answers, don't you? I ought to. I've been asked all the questions. Uh, hey! Hey, you! Uh -oh. Hello, Coach. I thought I told you two guys to take a walk. We only stopped for just a minute. Don't talk back. Well, there's no harm in just... Shut up! Oh, uh, who's the big bad wolf? Oh, excuse me. This is our football coach. Coach, I want you to meet Miss... I don't want to meet anybody. All I want you to do is to walk around a couple of hundred times without stopping. Oh, gee whiz, Coach. Come on, get going. Yes, yes sir. Get out of here. Say, I want you girls to leave my football players alone. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> there dame, dame. Every place we go is nothing but dame. I gotta watch them like a hawk. The big fella's got a head like a doorknob. Anybody can turn it. Hi, right, Coach. How do you like that? Look at those two mugs. Oh, honey, why don't you marry me? I'm a man in a million. I want a man with a million. Oh, this is heavenly. It's a shame to think this is our last night on shipboard. Say, have you any pictures of yourself? Mm-hmm. Give me one? Mm-hmm. With something nice and sweet written on it? Say! I told you two athletes you could stay up to watch the ship's concert tonight. Not to sit out here and catch cold. Oh, now, wait a minute, Coach. You can't... Shut up and get inside of that concert. Yes, sir. And you, too. Yes, sir. Uh, you go ahead to the concert, and I'll bring the picture to you. Fine. Ladies and gentlemen, the next act will be Lou Duthers with Gene and Joan. <laughs> If you permit my porter to assist you, I shall be very happy. Oh, they do all seem to be engaged. Uh, I am Prince Peter of Rotogradia. Uh, to which hotel shall I tell him? Oh, I'm going to the Hotel Mediterranean. What a coincidence. I'm going there myself. I have a car outside. May I take you? Oh, no, thank you. Oh, wait a minute, please. Oh, yes. You're very kind. Thank you. Bonjour, monsieur et madame. Oh, oh monsieur, deux oh. jeunes amoureux. Oh, 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 oh
drive me mad with longing. The night is nearly over. That's the good night waltz they're playing.
Bien. Vous êtes arrêté pour l'ordre de la police de Paris. Vous êtes une chargé pour avoir voulu 100 000 francs à Madame Champignon, Albert Cat Juliet. What does he mean? It means this man is a one big fake. He's not a French. He is a blackmailer who makes money from the foolish ah, women. See, Monsieur oh, Préfet, uh, just a slight misunderstanding. Allons-y, Monsieur Préfet. Oh, V! I just met the most romantic guy you ever saw. Well, that's tough, because we're going back where they keep their hats on and sit on desks. <laughs> How many times a day do you read that radiogram? I've read it ten times a day since I got it, and I still can't believe it. She's in her office, you know. Oh, kid, why didn't somebody tell me? And so I've come to the conclusion that real romance is found in our own hearts. Those whose love is deep and true have found the only true happiness. Why, hello, Jimmy. Hello, V. Hello, Helen. Hello, Jimmy. Aren't you glad to see me? Of course I am. May I congratulate you? Well, of course you may. I hope you'll be very, very happy. Well, I hope so too, Jimmy. Who's the lucky man? <laughs> Why, it's you, you Me! Fool. Hey, wait a minute. I'll come in again. Honey! <laughs> Look, I've been promoted. I'm writing the sports column. Oh, wonderful. Now we can be married right away. Oh, Helen, isn't it marvelous? Well, maybe I'll get your job. You can have it. Oh. And here's the kind of a place I picked out for us. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Just the kind of a place I've always dreamed of. There's an old fashioned cottage by a water mill with some old fashioned flowers on the windowsill where sunny skies of blue tumble through shady trees where songbirds on the wing stop and sing Waiting for a Jack and Jill And there's a chimney quite ample For the stalk and his sample is 